Hey guys, I wanted to show you this really cute little mini that I made and look in my descriptions because there I have the instructions on where I got this idea from, uh, Two Peas in a Bucket website, one of their free classes. I did mine a little bit differently. They made theirs, if I remember correctly, with tags. I made mine into a mini album which I got from Laura Dennison's website. So check my description for all the links to everything. I'll just go through this with you. I um, used ribbon here to uh, bind it instead of rings because it fit better. You can make this album with as many paper bags as you want. I have a manila divider that I used for the front and I distressed it with a uh, vintage photo. This is a little um, slice cutout that I cut out with my slice, obviously. And the word travel, and I put some uh, 3D tape behind these little things. And you can write on here maybe the, the date of the trip, um, the place, or something like that. Basically, it's a little activity book. And I explain in my instructions, which you'll see coming up, where I got all the little activity pages and how I made the book. So each one of these pockets is filled with um, more activity pages and you could just load them chuck full of stuff. So I got some little suitcases, a little car, camera, word discover postcard and a sign that something can be written here and that's it so like I said you could put more pages in here and the neat thing uh, the, the thought that I had about this was when the trip is over um, we could do a couple of things one you could continue to just refill this and use it for more trips you could personalize it with your child's name here or something but the second thing is you could um, when the trip is over, put photo um, photos in here and make this your child's mini album for their for their trip. So anyhow, that's it. Watch my instructions coming up. Thanks. Okay, guys. So what what I used for um, all the little games and things was I went to the dollar store, the Dollar Tree, and I found this little activity book, and they had all different kinds. This was the only one I felt that was more universal between girl or boy. Um, a lot of the other activity books were girl orientated, like little princesses and stuff like that. So I just picked this one up and I don't know what I'm doing with all these extra pages because I, I really just bought it so that I could do this one book. I don't even know what I'm going to do with the book. And then what I did was have these paper bags and I'm I used Laura Dennison's binding system, which if you look in my description, you can see how that works, but I did it a little bit differently. Um, so let's just get started here. So I'm going to use regular glue to adhere it. I'm not going to use this flap at all. I'm going to just fold it up. going to get a good crease here. Now I'm going to take my background paper and I'm going to put it almost to the top but not quite. You can cut this all the way to the bottom if you want to. I'm just going to leave, there's just a little edge showing, kind of framing it. I'm going to put the glue on here since that circle is there. And it's just a thin, thin line of glue. I'm just guessing where the bottom is. Okay, so this is glued on on both sides. Here's our gussets. And we are going to put the road on. Only the bottom. We're only going to do it on the bottom. Get that lined up. Make sure you leave a little frame so it matches. 
I've used black cardstock with some white gel pen to make the lines on the road. Here's one that I that's already did that's dried. So you can see that it the flap kind of comes up a little bit. So what I have here is one with both sides complete. Okay. So now we're going to do the, the binding and the cover. I'm going to quickly go over it with you and then I'll show you the end result. So I have cut several of these. You need two for the middle bags. So there's a total of four so far and then one for each end. So you need six of them. And I have cut mine at five by two and a quarter, and I'm punching my holes at one and a quarter and uh, three and three quarters. And I just use a good old fashioned hole punch. I drew a line here, so I know right kind of in the middle. I just eye it with my marks. And if that looks good, okay. So I've, I glued one side, and I just want to show you, um, we're going to put some glue on here, only on one side, and we're going to stick that here, wherever you want it, so that those holes line up, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So these are not connected. And the reason we're doing that is if we connect them, then this is not going to open, and we want this to open for the, the games and stuff that's inside there. So I'll go ahead and do the other one. Okay, so now let's do the cover. Looks like I'm going to need some more glue. I'm just going to glue this flap shut like we did for the others. And then we're going to put glue around the perimeter of this bag. I'm going to put a line right here, too. Whatever you decide to use for your cover, chipboard or a piece of cardboard or whatever, this is an old file folder. Just cut it the same size as your paper bag, unless you want some overhang. And stick that on there. And then I have to erase this. Okay. Now I wanted a little uh, firmer surface for writing and such, so I put a divider between the two pockets. You know, each bag has two pockets, so it's like this. And what I used is the same material, which is just these aren't really file folders, they're um, file folder dividers. So they're much thicker than just a regular file folder. So all I did, very simple, run some glue down each side. Not too, not too big because it's got to glue to these flaps here, the gusset flaps. So I like to put mine on the side that doesn't have the fold. So this side has the the paper, the bottom of the paper bag folded. So I'm going to put my divider on the other side. And that just makes it much nicer. The way I like to do my photo corners is I put my item in place, my paper, exactly where I want it. I stick my photo corner on the paper. Holding it firmly, I press down. Some people measure and mark and do all that stuff. I just do it this way. And I never, I just always eye it. Sometimes they're crooked, but that's what makes it homemade. And I don't do anything, I'm not going to do anything with the bottom. That's why we left this flap up. So it could just be left like that. So I'll do that to all my pages, and I'll be right back. Okay, all my pages have photo corners on them now, and I just want to mention a couple of things that I, I, I forgot to mention earlier, and that is the pages on this book are obviously large at the same size as my bag. So what I did was, I got lucky actually, and I cut them down 
to this square. The other thing I want to mention is the cool thing is that there's something on the front and the back of each page. So the child actually gets double the activities. So this has something on the back that they can color or something. If you don't want to use photo corners, you could put another strip up here like this one from the uh, Two Peas in a Bucket website. So anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.